Hello everyone, welcome back to the Stardew Valley Community Center run that I'm currently doing. My name is Colleen and I am trying to beat this big old time of 40 hours and 24 minutes at the moment. If that's something that you enjoy, if you like these sorts of videos, make sure that you subscribe because after this video, we'll be moving into summer. So that's right, I'm finishing spring in this episode and I hope you enjoy. So just to start out day 19, I've got a copper bar, I've got some pine tar, and Jody wants a cauliflower, which is great timing because I'm harvesting some right now. And of course, I'm just going to water all of my crops, and then I'm also going to make sure that I pet and water my cat. And yes, I'm going to do that in every single episode. But I got very lucky at the traveling cart today. We got a maki roll, and after some deliberation, I decided to grab the coconut as well. Then I made my way over to Pierre's so I could sell everything that I harvested in the morning. And then I think I should go probably pick up my copper axe before I forget, because if you watched the last episode, you know that I forgot it on the last day. Uh, but almost 4,500 gold there, so I'm pretty happy with that. And now we can get Clint to break open all of these geodes that I've been holding on to. Well, it certainly could have been worse, at least there's some that we can sell, but I also donate what I can and I get my one starfruit seed, then I booked it to the community center and I donated the coconut and the pine tar. Unfortunately, I will have to wait to donate the maki roll until I unlock the bulletin board, so for now, I'll just run up to Robin, get her to build my very first coop, which will be ready in a couple days, so that's super exciting. But for now, I'll just have to chop wood for the rest of the night, and then I went to bed. It always throws me off at first when I have a super low number for gold, but I remember selling produce, but then I remember I, I sold it at Pierre's, so that's why it doesn't show up. I just wish it did the whole total, that would be so nice. But hey, we've got some very happy spirits today, so I'm absolutely going to try to get to the mines. But first, just going to harvest what I can, water everything, run over to Pierre's so that I can sell some more. Because I'm just, I'm all about that gold right now. And I am going to buy about 20 parsnip seeds, but I'm trying to save as much gold as I can because I need to start upgrading my tools. And Jody finally got her cauliflower, which means we finally get our money. Thank you very much, and we are off to the mines. Now I'm not going to include pretty much any of this footage because I didn't make a lot of progress. I just made it to level 20 and then I had to call it quits. Once I made it home though, I made the horrifying realization that I forgot to water the cat today. Poor Posy. Probably forgot to, to give it attention too. So we'll pet Posy and then we went to bed. And now I get to choose between a tiller and a rancher. And I just love the animals so much, so I'm going to go with Rancher. And we finally got level 3 mining. So very productive day. And we are now moving into day 21. And it's raining, so that's already good luck. I don't care if the spirits are neutral, I feel very lucky to be here. And for very good reason, honestly, because we've got a harvest of strawberries and cauliflower today. It's still super early, so I decided to forage on the beach for a little bit before running over to Pierre's. And since it was still a little bit close, I decided to check the calendar and see how many birthdays I had missed. Truthfully, I am a bit upset that the only birthday I've remembered is Lewis's. It's a, it's a little bit out of character for me, but I, I guess that's fine. But now that we've got all of this gold, I run over to the traveling cart. There isn't anything that I think I need for the community center, but this woodsy couch though? Then I decided to run over to Willie's just to sell some things that I had caught in day and decided to also buy the fiberglass rod because I need to be focusing on catching the catfish. I really want to get that one out of the way in the spring. So that's gonna be the goal when it's raining, at least for the next week or so. But I just sold everything I could when I got back and then I went to bed. So even though we sold everything at Pierre's today, still a pretty good day for gold with all of that fishing. But we're moving into day 22. We'll see what the weather is like today. 
and it is raining again. So that's great luck. We'll be trying for the catfish yet again. And the spirits are neutral, so that's not too, too bad. And look at this. We've got a visitor. Demetrius wants to set up our cave for us. And I am going to go with the fruit bats this time around because the fruit is just better for the community center, in my mm -hmm. humble opinion. But before I really get started with the day, just placing my woodsy couch and then heading over to the coop, just checking it out. Yep, it's empty. Can confirm. So the first goal of today will be to buy some chickens, but of course it's a little bit too early for Marnie, so I'm just going to have to fish it out before and look what I got. First fish of the day. Incredible. And then Marnie opened, so we got to buy some chickens. Now, I know that I mentioned it before, but I like using the randomizer for the names, so we wound up with Grumbo and Fresica? Fresica? Either way, welcome to the coop, little babies. You are adorable. You are in good hands. I will give you attention every single day, and I will try not to forget about the hay, which is what I'm doing right now, actually. I'm going to place a silo. I was trying to find a different location for it, but I just love this bottom corner on the forest farm for it. It's just, it's so perfect. But because I was at Robin's, I was close to the mines and I decided to go find the ghost fish. And literally the first thing I caught was a ghost fish. So I made my way to the community center, finished up this bundle, and I got some dish of the sea. So that will come in handy at some point, I'm sure. But because we finished that one bundle, we got to unlock the bulletin board too. So I also got to donate a chub. Then I made my way over to Clint's and he just, he truly just disappointed me. Why? In a quest to make the day a little bit better, I decided to fix up this little bridge here. It's a bit earlier than I was planning to, but I was a little bit bored if I'm being honest. And I remember that there's actually the sea urchin on this side, so it worked out fairly nicely for me. And I also ended up finding the dried starfish. Hello, sir? Not going to need to talk to you anytime soon, I imagine. My real reason for being here, though, is that I needed to wait for four o'clock so I can catch an eel. Because I want to be able to donate it, I want to have it done by the end of spring. And would you look at that? Couldn't make it any easier. And honestly, I felt really bad about throwing this fish out because I realized I could have just tossed it back into the ocean. But I was able to finish up the crab pot bundle and I got three crab pots. And then I was able to donate the eel and donate the sea urchin. After that, since I was fairly close by, I decided to give the mines a bit of a try, and I got to level 25. And then I decided to call it quits, because not soon after that, I found a cave carrot, so I decided I wanted to donate that before heading back to my farm, and then I went to bed. And I made it to level 5 fishing, and I'm going to be a fisher, absolutely. It's like the only choice that I should make in this run. And only 323 gold, so that's fine. You, you can't make that much every single day. So I am now heading into day 23, and it's sunny again, so I'm going to have to water everything. And of course the spirits are displeased, but I remembered Posy, I remembered Grumbo and Fresica. Fresica. Haven't decided how I want to pronounce that yet, but... I remembered them, and they're adorable, and that's all that matters. And then we actually got our first maple syrup today, which reminded me that I needed another tapper so I could make some oak resin too, because I'm going to need quite a bit of that. And I realized I hadn't heard anything, so I went to check if Robin was working. Yep, there she, there she is. Good stuff. Then I decided to chop some wood. And did you know on the forest farm, you can actually chop these little bushes down? I didn't know that for the longest time. Thank you to Lil Simsy for saying that in one of your streams. But the foraging on my farm this morning was amazing. We got the maple syrup and a morel mushroom, which means we finished up this bundle and we got some Autumn's Bounty meals. So those will also come in handy at some point, I'm sure. 
but I finally got to donate the Maki roll because we opened up the bulletin board. Then I donated the Nautilus shell as well. Then, in the spirit of just emptying out my pockets as much as possible, I decided to first donate the two artifacts that I had been holding onto, and then I put down the crab pots that I had just got from the community center too. Then just finishing up the night with some wood cutting, because I am really low on it right now, I've just- I've made too many things recently. Sold everything that I could at the end of the night, as always, and then I went to bed. And I got level 4 foraging. And some pretty good gold too. Not too shabby. So we are moving into day 24, hoping for some rain. Not getting any rain. But doesn't that couch look great? And the spirits are very happy, so I'm very happy too. Though it does take me a moment to realize there's a reason Robin is not on my farm today, and that's because it is the flower dance. So just gonna look for my chickens, try to say hello to all of the animals before I leave. Though it seemed as though Fresica or Fresica was giving me a bit of a hard time. There we go. But off we go. Off to talk to everybody, but not get a dance partner. I feel completely fine. But yeah, today was a bit of a, a write-off. So I made some copper bars, made some preserve jars, and put some cauliflower in them, and then I decided to go to bed. And despite that uneventful day, we made level 6 farming, and I made how much gold? 2,187? Amazing. I'm, I'm just constantly impressed with myself. But going into day 25, it is not raining, so we're going to have to work hard yet again. And of course the spirits are somewhat annoyed. They just don't want me to succeed. And apparently this morning, it was Grumbo's turn to hide on me. There he is. And they're full grown, so we've got our first eggs. Unfortunately, I'm a bit low on materials, so I could only make one mayo machine to start, but that's fine. We'll just do batches of mayo. And then, of course, I would never forget to take care of Posy, and then just did, you know, the regular farming stuff that is probably getting super repetitive. But do you see that? That's hay, which means that our silo's done, which means Robin is available to build us something else. And I'm absolutely getting a barn this time because I want myself a cow. Well, I want multiple cows, but it, it may take some time and that's okay. But then I made my way to Pierre's, decided to sell some of the stuff that I had in my pockets, which apparently I was being picky about what I was selling. I don't really remember why, but then I decided to gift Caroline because I just, I just want the tea sapling recipe or dia, whatever it's called. Just please, you give me it. And then I just decided to go to bed because I realized I've been playing through every single day for way too long and that's probably not the best way to beat your time. So I'm moving forward to day 26 now. Nothing exciting to mention from this past day, but it's sunny again so I'll have to water just a few things. And the spirits are annoyed. Well, that's too bad because I'm going to go to the mines anyway. <laughs> but first, just making another preserve jar, taking care of my cat, you know, watering it, taking care of my little chickens, then collecting some eggs so I can make some mayonnaise. I then remembered that I had a fruit cave, so I decided to collect whatever was sitting in here, which it had definitely been a few days since Demetrius set that up for me. And then I went right into the mines. There was no wasting time today, except for times like that, which I, I know we've discussed this before, but I really have trouble aiming on the switch. And I think after this whole series is done, I'm going to try out Stardew on my, my new computer, maybe get some mods, maybe try Stardew Expanded. It could be a lot of fun. All that talking though was really a distraction just to get me to level 35 so I could show you that I made it there. I'm getting very, very close to level 40, which is really exciting because I would love 
to farm for some iron ore, like just going over and over and over. That is going to be the next goal. So day 26 wasn't that great for gold, as you could probably see, but I feel like that happens quite a bit once you get to the end of the season, so I'm, I'm okay with it for right now. Of course the spirits are displeased. They hate my guts. That's fine. I know that already. Just starting out the day as I always do though, harvesting what I can, selling what I can, and then tending to all of my animals, or at least trying to. Why are you always hiding in here? What's going on? Get outside. Go touch some grass. And I don't even think I need to be watering these, but just in case. And it doesn't even need to be set at this point. Of course, I would never forget about Posy. It would never happen. Here you can see a super fun thing happen where I just plant this acorn completely out of formation, just not where it's supposed to be. So I'm absolutely going to have to fix that. Then I just put some strawberries in these preserve jars and headed into town. So I wanted to hit some cans and are you joking? Great. Then I made my way over to Clint's so he could break open all of these geodes that I've been hoarding. Again, I'm just trying to empty out the chest as much as I can so I don't have to make another one right away. Luckily, I did find some that could be donated, so I headed over to Gunther's, donated everything that I could to the museum, and then with my gifts, I don't know if you know this, but you can place them in the museum. Over to the beach we go, just emptying out these crab pots and gonna go say hello to Elliot for once. And he decides to tell me his cabin is full of spiders. So I promptly ran into town and decided to gift Evelyn and of course Caroline because I still want to be your friend and I want your tea saplings, please. After that, I was incredibly sneaky and waited for Willie to walk away just far enough so I could smack this trash can and run away. I made my way back to my farm so I could sell everything I found while I was running around like a complete maniac, and then I made my way to the community center so I could donate a wild plum, a blackberry, and then the peach that I found in the cave, I think a day ago. To finish up the night, I decided just to chop wood until I couldn't anymore and went to bed and woke up with level 5 foraging. And I think I'm gonna go with Gatherer. I'm hoping it'll get me some more gold. Going into day 28, I made the most gold that I have made so far, so things are looking up. It's going pretty well, in my opinion. So we've got a sunny day 28 of spring, and the spirits are in good humor. And we learned how to make an omelet, so that's pretty cool. We'll just say hello to our chickens, make a little bit of mayonnaise, and then head over to the traveling cart to see what she's got. And already I found a cherry, and there's large goat's milk and a duck feather, which I need all of those. So it really is a good luck day. Marnie was even at home, so I got to buy my first cow, and just by these randomized names, Little Fetch is now in the barn. And if you're thinking that I definitely almost forgot to water the ancient fruit plant, uh, yeah, you're, you're correct, I did almost forget. But then I made my way over to the community center and donated everything that I had. Now, of course, because the luck is how it is today, the next logical thing to do is just to go into the mines and make it to level 40 and look at what I did. I've got the slingshot now, which I'm definitely not going to be using anytime soon, if at all. But like I said, I just wanted to farm this first level so I could get as much iron ore as possible today because I'm going to need it in no time. I need to upgrade my ax really soon. Of course, I'm not going to include me just going back and forth, but here you can see I found 22 iron ore, and then on my way home, I got this cutscene with Linus, which the first time that this happened, I absolutely cried. All of the emotions. When Gus comes in, he's like, no one should be hungry. Oh my god. I agree. It's just, ugh. My heart. But last stop of the evening, making my way over to the community center, donating a mushroom, a frozen tear, and then finally 
making my first iron bar. To finish up the night, of course, I'm just selling everything that I possibly can and then heading to bed. And that's, that's it. I finished spring. I've got level four mining now. I can make that glowstone ring. There is lots to look forward to. If you've made it to the very end of the video, I appreciate you so much. Like, I literally cannot say it enough times. Just looking at YouTube Studio sometimes, I can see how long people watch, and it's not usually until the very end of the video. So if you're still here, you are just the absolute best. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day.